Hey friends, welcome back to another video. So today's video is a continuation of my previous video on the TPNA products. So I was only able to review the electric file. So today I'll be reviewing the rest of the products that I have purchased from them. So before I start with the video, if you are new here on my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. I post videos on nails, nail art, nail extension, nail products, etc. So if you are into all these kind of stuff, please consider subscribing. Um, so let's get into the video. The first item I'm going to show you guys is this UV LED lamp from TPNA. So this says it's a made in China product. However, the seller is from Mumbai and the power of the light is 48 watt and the wavelength given is between 365 and 405, which is technically good enough to cure all kinds of gels. Um, another speciality is it has a low temperature mode and it also claims that it won't be creating any burning sensation when you cure under the lamp and there are 30 pieces of light lights inside it and the lifetime guarantee uh, it has like 50,000 hours of life that is what the seller is claiming and in the box as you can see we have the light and there is a user manual and uh, also we have a charger so overall it looks like a good product and uh, uh, the price uh, when I purchased uh, as I saw, as I told you in the previous video as well I purchased it uh, through that exhibition uh, thing because of that I got some offers and I think I paid 5000 rupees for this but if you wanted to know the actual price right now you can DM uh, uh, in Instagram on their page which is TPNA you can search for TPNA in Instagram and then you can DM and ask them what is the price right now so I don't have much information right now they do not have a website uh, I think they sell it all through uh, Instagram only and again uh, there is a battery charging indication and then there are different settings it also has a slow heat mode so that if you are very sensitive to the um, exothermic reaction um, then uh, you can use that slow heat mode and you don't feel that burning sensation and the timer it is uh, auto timer so when you put your hands in the timer starts and then uh, it doesn't stop when you pull out the hand but it will go on and you can also separate the bottom part and the LED placement is also good the only thing is that bottom separation part which is not a reflective base um, so uh, if you wanted to cure it underneath the nails then you have to place your hand in the reverse mode and you have to cure it so that is the specification we will definitely test it when we do the hard gel extension so now let's see the second product the second product that we have today is a TPNA Builder Gel. As you can see, I chose the color Nude Beige and uh, this is a 30 gram um, container and inside the container we have the product and the container itself, it's a plastic container and on the uh, outside we have all the information, ingredients, how to use it, the basic instructions, everything is available on the bottle. I don't remember how much it was but I think it was between 1000 and 2000, around 1600 or something. You can definitely DM and ask TPNA for the actual price right now um, so as you can see the bottle comes with like a proper sealing so that uh, it doesn't spill uh, especially when it's shipped from one location to another location if this one has like a proper sealing then the chances of uh, spilling the product is very less so that's a good thing now let's just check and see the consistency of the gel because I mostly prefer medium consistency gel it's easy to work with if it's too loose then it's all over the place so I can I prefer like a medium viscosity when it comes to build a gel so now let's just see uh, how thick uh, the gel is so after picking up that first bead, I can say that it's not too loose, no, not too tight. So it's like a medium consistency gel, good for beginners and experienced techs. And now let's just swatch and see the color. After applying it on the uh, swatch stick, I can say that the gel is easy to work with and uh, the final finish is also really cute. So now let's try and sculpt a nail. So for the sculpting we need a base coat so I purchased their base coat and the top coat so the crystal top coat they have different types of top coats available so I picked up the best one so that is like a stain free kind of special advanced level kind of top coat we'll talk about that in later and this is the base coat and as you can see on the back side we have all the ingredient list and how to use etc etc the bottles are really cute and now let's put this up on test. 
the first thing i always check is the consistency of the gel whether it's builder gel or the basic gels so this i can say that it's not too runny so that's a good thing again if you wanted to build a little bit of an architecture using the base gel then this is ideal for that and now i'm applying a very thin layer of uh, base coat and then i'm going to cure it under the lamp for 30 seconds after curing the base coat, I put on my foams and now I'm going to start with the sculpting. So for the sculpting, as you know, I start from the free edge and I build the uh, free edge and the length of the nail and the shape of the nail. And then I come back and I start with my apex and the rest of the nails. So let's just watch this. Once I am done with the free edge, I will be curing it under the lamp for 30 seconds and then I am going to come back and build up the apex and other area. So before I start with the rest of the sculpting, I use a very thin layer of the builder gel and I apply it onto the nail plate and I stretch it to the free edge that I have already sculpted. So this basically this is called as greasing so that the product can easily when you uh, start with the cuticle application, the product can, product can easily uh, you know move around and reach the side wall and other parts so our work will be a little more easier so that's why we just do like a little greasing uh, before we do the cuticle application so now I picked up a second bead and I placed it in the cuticle area so I'm going to build the apex and the rest of the nails unfortunately most of the stuff I did out of frame um, so if you wanted to learn how to do the builder gel application I have a clear video on my channel please refer to that so there you have everything in the frame and uh, I also had given proper instructions so you can check that video I'll put that in the screen somewhere uh, this one I'm so sorry I didn't realize that this was out of frame uh, it's very difficult to actually record the sculpting part on camera but anyways um, so I completed the structure and then now I'm going to put this under the lamp the lamp that I'm using is the TPNA lamp only but unfortunately I noticed something after curing it for two minutes uh, the product was still not completely cured so that was something very strange for me I'm not sure why that happened so I had to switch to my old lamp to completely cure it so this was right after curing under the TPNA lamp so the thickness if you see it's not like super thick nails it's like uh, mostly thinner nails and uh, this should be like completely dried by now because I already cured it for two minutes in the lamp but you can see it's still very flexible and it's very fragile so I am not sure why because is it the lamp or it's out of battery I'm not sure but uh, for me it did not work so that is something I have to recheck and then I have to update uh, the comments in the YouTube comment section so that you guys can uh, know so for the time being I switched to my old lamp and where I am trying to cure it for another 60 seconds and after curing it under the sun lamp and now the gel is hard okay so this was not happening in the TPNA lamp so I don't know why is it because the battery is not fully charged I don't know I am yet to figure it out but uh, anyways this happened and since it was really thin I went on and applied a little more product to bring up the thickness and the architecture of the nail and now I am going to file it and shape it. After the filing and shaping that's how the nails looks like so there is no top coat or anything I just filed shaped and I cleaned the nail blade so that's how it looks and the gel is really beautiful as you can see it gives a really natural looking nails so that is a plus point. Now I am not going to apply any color right now so I am just going to put a top coat on and I just wanted to keep it as it is. It was looking really pretty really cute. So now let's try the crystal top coat. Again I wanted to check the consistency of the top coat, the viscosity of the top coat. Uh, again this is not runny, it has a medium uh, consistency that's a good thing so that when you go close to the cuticle the gel won't run into the skin you, you will have like a better control over the application. So on top of 
of the uh, gel i'm applying the gel top coat and then i'm going to cure it under the lamp for 60 seconds and then we are done After curing the gel, I noticed that uh, the shine of the top coat is really nice and it gives a good oleum to the nail and it gives a great shine. And also the salesperson, they said that it's a stain free top coat but uh, I used it on a bride and it did not really save her nails from the haldi stain. So I'm not very sure about the stain free thing but otherwise the shine and everything is really nice. So that's how the nails looks like. And I really like the way the Builder Jill was working and the finish and the color and everything is really nice. The top coat and the base coat is also really nice. Now I have a matte top coat and a white gel which we are going to test now. This is the matte top coat as you can see it says velvet top and uh, uh, the salesperson mentioned that uh, this is the best top coat they have. In fact I think they had two different choices and this was the best one he recommended and uh, this one gives like a velvety like finish and uh, that's what we are going to test. So for the testing purpose uh, again I wanted to see the consistency. Uh, all three base coat, top coat and the matte top coat all have similar kind of viscosity which is a good thing in my opinion. And for for the testing purpose I have a swatch stick where I have applied Bon Pretty's uh, metallic kind of metallic a beautiful red color and now we are going to apply the velvet top coat uh, matte top coat on top of this color because I wanted to see this if the top coat is really good then this is gonna give us a very beautiful finish so that's exactly what we are going to test now I cured the uh, matte top coat under the UV lamp for 60 seconds and this is how the final effect looks like. So as I said that red was a very beautiful red and after the matte top coat it looked stunning, absolutely stunning. So the velvet uh, matte top coat is again a big thumbs up. Next is our white uh, color which I am going to show you now. All their color polishes comes in a black bottle and as you can see this is how the white polish uh, bottle looks like and on top of it we can see which color it is and uh, I only picked up the white I wanted to see how the opacity is and again when I checked the viscosity of the product and it was not too runny or too uh, thick uh, it was medium consistency which is again a good thing and the best part about this white polish is it's really pigmented I'm not joking it's super pigmented and one coat was enough to cover this transparent swatch stick so I'm using transparent one because this will give me a better idea about how, how opaque the colors are so now look at that it is like absolutely pigmented one coat and you get really nice bright white finish so this is again a thumbs up apart from the uv lamp all other products are really good and everything is like perfectly good quality stuff the lamp the gel polishes yes it definitely cures the gel polishes but it was not curing the uh, builder gel so that's again something i needed to test i'll update my youtube comment section with what is happening with the lamp uh, or you can follow me on instagram i have all the socials linked in the description box so um, where i post on my socials i post all the updates Updates and things like that so follow me uh, so you can get updates on the products and uh, um, I think that's it for today I hope you guys enjoy this video if you like it like share comment all those good things and also don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon on my next video until then stay safe stay happy thank you